everybody, we're doing another van chat. And guess who I'm with? <laughs> I'm with the Feeman Jason. <laughs> and we're on our way up there. To Aberdeer. Aberdeer. I've been to Aberdeer for at least, at least a month. So, uh, so we're on the way down the motorway. Oh, you're not that's about to be talking back at Right, that means it's not going to be monetized. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just showing I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> uh, we was just talking about road rages and, and, and what causes road rages. No, I was only in fifth. Thank God. And he's only in fifth, so the fella inside is flashing up. The fella behind is flashing his fucking man, hey, come on, idiot. I thought I was in the camper, so you got five speed, this was six speed. Ah. Like, you know, you'd have thing on it, it's all worn out. Six speeds? Oh, yes. It's like, what's his name? I don't know if you ever saw that film called um, Big Man on Campus. Big Man on Campus, yes. John Snyder. Who was Bob Maluga Maluga. Ooh. Maluga Maluga. What was that? A glove. Oh. Maluga 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 Maluga. Maluga. One of the funniest films I've ever seen it in was, my life. Was it Roy Schneider, Schneider I don't know. There was Dead Man on Campus. But there was a big man on campus. He was an hunchback who lived in the in the tower. Oh, I vaguely recall the film. I can't. He lived in the tower, it. and he was going around in the, in the nights, nicking everything. He was a an order, right. like us. But one of the funniest films I've ever seen in my life. We laughed and laughed, but you couldn't get it in England. Oh. So I asked my mate to get it in America, and he sent it across to me. But it came across in a funny format. Right. It wasn't like VHS. It, this is years ago. It's not yesterday. This is years and years ago. So we had to then try and alter it yeah. so we could watch it. And I did do a couple of copies of it. And um, I've still got a copy of it, but it's on the old tapes, on the old tape VHS. But I bet, I bet now you could you could probably get that on the DVD. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I guarantee you get a digital copy of it. The Big Man on Campus, I'm telling you, it's the funniest film you'll see for a while. Yeah, yeah, he, he, is, he is absolutely brilliant, whoever he was. Uh, that's the end of the news today. I think the sun's coming over here. Yeah, head for the sun. We're heading for the sun. Going to the, well, we're not leaving you. We're heading west, but we're not going to get there. So. Well, we don't know anybody up here, do we? Internet-wise. Uh, I don't know. Where does Tampa live? Uh, I'm, I'm a bit west. Oh, that's a bit further. Yeah, that's a lot further. That, that's the, the very end of the motorway yeah. now. Uh, being quiet. No, yeah. Well, he gave me a comment the other day. Yeah. With, uh, using a soldering iron on the on the um, polystyrene. But the thing with with that is 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 such a gentle touch. Yeah. If, if, if you over touch it, it's gone. Yeah. yeah that's I true. I dropped a bit of um, hot glue and it burnt an over it. Yeah. So. Yeah. When we did the, the, the branches on the tree I told you about in, uh, in the, the garden festival. Yeah. We used expanding foam to glue it all together. Expanding foam? Expanding foam. Well, I really, I think one of my next um, venues is going to be. Um, Silicon Bones. Yeah. Because it looks just great. And you know, I'm, I just gotta have a go at these things. I, I can't sit there and let somebody else have all the glory. I go, oh, I like it. Yeah. It looks messy, it looks fucking funny, and it looks good. So we probably have a few laughs making bones. Let's look at uh, Justin. Uh, oh. Justin and um, uh, and John. Yeah. Is, is doing silicon apparently. Yeah, he's doing yeah, silic silicon skulls. He was making uh, yeah. and skulls. Messy, <laughs> messy job. It's a messy job, yeah. Oh, just didn't get it right. But I watched this fella um, last night because you know I, I got to watch every video on the subject. Yeah. And um, he didn't have gloves on. He just delved into it and, and, and done it pretty well because you get a tube of silicon. Yeah. And some. Corn starch, they call it, Americans. Yeah. Mix it all together, and out comes this Play-Doh sort of 
and stuff, if you mold it into shape and oh, s soon after it, it goes solid, flexible. It's flexible, it's, it's like a rubber, so uh, uh, I thought something like that. You know what to pour into it is the thing. I mean, a hot glue is a good idea unless you're stood next to a, a foundry with it in your pocket. Yeah. I couldn't have my phone out. Yeah, I know, so it's it, it was, stuck to the inside your jeans. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. I had to take the jeans off and we had to turn it inside out and, and literally peel it off. It was well stuck in there. <laughs> I didn't even give it a second thought, obviously, because it was on well, my phone. You wouldn't expect it to happen, would you? No. <laughs> and the thing is, no, it's, 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 it's knackered my phone cover. You can't get it off. Because I got that now. Yeah. I can't get it back off because it, I've tried tearing it off. Look, and it um, it pulls some of this because it's not leather, is it? It's like yeah. tendon stuff. Leather, pretend leather, pretend leather. So are we going up the um, Castle Cock? I haven't got a clue. Is that in Wales? Castle Cock. That's the funny shaped castle, isn't it? It's just by, yeah. Fairy tale. yeah. So I heard Steve Davis tried to buy that. Yeah. That's was very interesting. It was going to be his um, home from hiding place, you know. Yeah. He was on, uh, I was watching him the other day, Steve Davis, and he was on there with um, Ronnie, what was his name? Ronnie Sullivan. Ronnie Old Sullivan. The best, probably the best player in the world yeah. at the moment. And, and he was having a go at um, Ronnie. Yeah. And Ronnie said, well, the thing is, he said, if if you were still a player... <laughs> it's true. Even though, no, Steve did win out quite a lot. He did, yeah. But nobody ever liked Steve. That's because he was the most boring man ever. Yeah, he was at, um... You instantly took him as a, a posh, twazzing yeah. sort of person. So, um... I mean, there's a term, I don't... I don't know if he's Chinese, Japanese, Korean, whatever he is, but there's a couple of them now are fantastic players. So, yeah. Um, yeah. We are going to go past Castle Kark. So I'll try and wave you at the window so you can see Castle Kark. Been there once with the kids, never went back. I never did, they? Lovely place. Yeah. Well, recently they had a. Um, food thing up there you know you had to pay to get in oh like a fair yeah you had to pay to get in and and you had all these nutters running around you know like like the old days yeah and they brought in this big like fucking cow on two sticks you know and oh, and boy. and carved it up in front of you but you could see they was all well to do is not like me i don't know about jason you know he's well to do but i'm like a slum dog that's oh. why people eat me because i'm a slum dog Definitely not well to do with anything. <laughs> is there such a thing as a slum dog? Do you think there is, isn't it? Well, yeah, there's that film, Slum Dog Millionaire. I'm, I'm is sure it? Oh. Yeah, I'm sure that's got to uh, be some sort of base uh, basis for. Uh, uh, sorry, based on some sort of factual um, evidence that slum dogs exist. Right. So anyway, then I, I renamed myself the Slum Dog. Everybody wants to kick me. Not everybody. I'm uh, confused. Not everybody. I thought there was a big weight limit there. No, no, dog did it. Oh! You, know, you got one of them cut throughs, you went for the cut through line. Right. You come down here, you choose your lane, you go into the doobly and up, up onto the doobly. Yeah. So, um, I'll fly the camera out the window. You can actually see it now. You'll see a great deal in my windows. <laughs> Oh, oh my God, you know what? I never realised that was by there. It's got a bloody scaffolding on it. There, look, it's focus. See the scaffolding? Oh, well. That's a dark. Well, I had to come down here. Down by here, there's a big warehouse. <coughs> I bought something off eBay. Yeah. They tried to deliver, said they couldn't make an answer, so it was back at the warehouse. Do you want to come and collect it? Well, it's up there, it's down there. Yeah. You know, and I went into this warehouse like an aeroplane hangar, and it was like piles of parcels all over the place on the floor. You could see like they've just tipped them on the floor, Jesus. and it, it was all 
different areas, obviously. Yeah, down by there somewhere. Oh, oh yeah. Have a cigarette. Have a cigarette. I'm going to have a smoke. Smoking in the workplace. There's a large star smoke on the doors. You can do what you want in front of me, you know that. As long as you keep your fucking trousers on, I don't care. He's going to have a piss as well. So. <laughs> Remember, Where's that bottle? The bottle, uh, <laughs> having a slash in a bottle. I just couldn't get a bottle big enough. Not for my dick in, to hold the amount of <laughs> fluid coming out of me. Because <laughs> boy, I could piss for whales back in the oh, old days. Jesus. I went to London, I, I left, um, I left Miller's. I had to deliver in, uh, something up in London. Yeah. I wanted to piss before I left, and I was got the London still wanting to piss. So uh, you know, well, that's a good old fucking kidney. Yeah, fucking right. Or bladder, whatever you fucking whatever you store it. Uh, oh, Tamek. So we won't we won't go on too long. In fact, what we could do is probably say Tehran in a minute. And thanks for watching, and it's been great knowing you and. If I'm still your next year. Or, or we could turn this into a fan chat picking up tools video. <laughs> yeah, that's what well, we're actually going to pick up a tool. Yeah. Wow. So we could do another video when we get there of actually picking up the tools. And then we could do another video on the way back as a van chat for, for next week. Yeah. You know, I could really milk it. Like, like so. And then we could do another video of testing it out. We could milk it like there's no tomorrow. Oh. You know, there's people out there all I'm the all time. They can't just do one the video. Now I, you notice my last video, I done six, I think six, six casts. Cast. Yeah. Casts. 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 You've got to put this on the end. I done six, I could have done six videos. But no, I just crammed it all into one video. You don't want to see somebody that stood there pouring fucking aluminium on day after fucking day after day, do you? No. You're going to find a nice big ant's nest. Yeah, but you're going to take your forge from the ant nest. I know. We can do it with the oil burn. Yeah. But oh, you still. Oh, you got your uh, Jenny for the for the pump. pump yeah. Oh, excuse me. We could go big time and do a mole mole one. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be better than everybody else. Why do an ant when you can do a mole? So paid. Don't drink and drive. I'm not, I'm not, I definitely won't. I'm not driving. <coughs> oh, God. So, yeah, say goodbye. Uh, goodbye. We'll see you soon doing something or other very strangely. Look at the weather. Oh, wrong fucking way, you fucking lump jung. <gasps> fucking hell, Jason's disappeared. Found it, yeah. Well, we found our way here. Jason's just going in with a fella to have a look at it. Apparently, it's a big heavy thing, so we won't we won't know. I won't know till I see it. So. Nice fella. So we'll see if they're gonna drag it out now in a minute. Thank you.